Having come to the end of our business process, we're now in a position to analyze what happened. We've seen examples of Business by Design's real-time analytics capability all the way through the process, and here is no different. Another of the key features of Business by Design is accessibility. So we'll see how we can access real-time reports on a desktop, in a browser and in Microsoft Excel, but also on a mobile device. A key differentiator for successful mid-sized businesses is the ease and flexibility with which they can analyse their business operations, thereby accelerating the speed with which they can act. Business by Design offers comprehensive real-time analytics capabilities to each user. Managers and employees are empowered to be proactive as Business by Design pushes relevant reports directly to their home screen. Reports and analytics can be accessed in a number of ways. Browser-based reporting provides embedded and standalone reports for users who consume and analyse information about business processes. Microsoft Excel-based reporting provides reporting information within Microsoft Excel workbooks for controllers and knowledge workers who want to use Microsoft Excel to analyse real-time data. Formatted reporting provides formatted information with limited interactivity enabling the display and printing of predefined information pages, for example, a balance sheet or profit and loss statement. Management KPIs and dashboards provides monitoring of key performance indicators which trigger alerts to inform managers of critical situations, for example, the failure to hit liquidity targets within a specified time frame. Mobile reporting provides the same information on mobile devices, such as Android, BlackBerry, iOS or Windows devices. All of these reporting capabilities are available in real time. Let's see how easy it is to use the analytics functionality in the live by design system. As previously mentioned, Business by Design provides information in real time. I'm currently logged into the system as Bob Menson, the sales manager. Bob would like to look at the sales order volume report for our new product and service. We begin by moving to the homework centre and selecting the list from the reports section. This brings up a list of available reports. I want to look at the sales order volume report, so I select it. This report is a quarterly report and is currently showing me the sales order volume for the last three months. I want to change this report slightly, so I move across to the left and expand the section marked currently not shown. The report is currently shown on screen as a chart. To make it easier to see the changes I'm about to make, I'm going to change this so it's shown as a table. Moving back, I'm going to expand this so it's a bit easier to read. Now then, I'm going to take calendar year quarter and drop it on top so it replaces month calendar year. I'm then going to add account underneath, followed by sales order. and drop that underneath and finally product and drop that underneath Notice that our report is being constructed in real time I'll now move this back so we can get a slightly better view As you can see, I've changed the report to my individual need simply by dragging and dropping. As we've mentioned before, Business by Design combines the transactional and the analytical world, and so it's possible to open the sales order directly out of this report. To do so, 
I need only click the sales order number and then select view sales order. This is another example of By Design's navigation concept of simple to advanced. If I close this and return to my report, I could choose to open this report in Microsoft Excel. I'm not going to do this because I want to add this report to my Home Work Centre view so that it's always available when I log into the system. By dragging and dropping various parameters, I've changed the sales order volume report. So before I can add it to my home screen, I first need to save the view and the selections used to create the view. I begin by going to View and selecting Save As and then providing a name. And click OK. I do the same thing with the selections. As you can see, our newly saved view and selection now appear in the drop down boxes. We can now close this and return to the Homework Center. As you can see, the Sales Order Volume Report is already on our home screen. I want to change this so that the new Product and Service Offering View and Selection that we've just saved is displayed instead. I do this by moving to the Personalization menu and selecting this screen. We scroll down the list to select the Sales Order Volume Report and then change the view to the one we just created. Change the selection to the one we just created. Now I can scroll back up and select Personalize Layout to make this full width. And I'll also make Opportunity full width. I can now save Notice when I save that the change does not happen. The change will not happen until I close the personalization window and the screen is refreshed. We can now see that the sales order volume report is the full width of the screen and has been customized so that it shows our newly created view and selection. The volume of sales orders for our new product and service offering is important to me. I want to be able to view this exact report when I'm out on the road. Let's see how Business by Design supports me viewing this report on a mobile device. As a sales manager, I'm often out on the road on business trips, but I need to be up to date with our sales pipeline and the sales order volume of our new product offerings. I can access the By Design environment on my mobile device, and I have access to the same analytics capabilities. Previously, I created a sales report for our new product and service offering, and I can access the same report on my mobile device. I add report and select sales order volume. I can set any parameters and notice that I set the same view and variables as was created in the By Design environment on my desktop. We expand the report so I can reuse the same view and selections I defined back in my desktop By Design environment. So no matter if I use my desktop, my laptop or my mobile device, I'm always connected with a live system and have access to real-time analytics.